throughout the tournament win you're through to tomorrow the final game of the day let's see how it's going to go so in white once again right to left is of course task playing technically away here against marlott in that black ready orangey yellowy color <laughs> um, from left to right here is task instantly going on the attack and instantly messi oh, has he a left toe poke basically i think that just sent it flying over and you might not say that's a guaranteed scoring position but a big chance nonetheless in the very very early stages of this match and messi wins it back now over to ramos switch the wings over to walker and this is something that he's obviously got to work on he knows task can be defensive work the ball very well but marlet is certainly no slouch and that's great little one touch pass in there nice passage of play as he works it through the middle gets it to suarez off to ronaldo and ronaldo not afraid to shoot there marlet testing the hands of the fair and sends it out for a corner Gonna swing it straight in here as well. Ronaldo got on there, but a little bit off balance. And in the end, that's a pretty easy collection for De Gea. We'll palm it out to Marcelo. Around on his bottom side. Not space top side as well. He attacks if you to switch wings. He's quite happy to play it short. Keep that passing percentage high. And of course, as I say that, then he does end up switching it over to Walker. He's going to have to almost got the megs on Marcelo there. This pass, I think, is going to work out for Marcelo in the end and chips it over the top as well in towards Suarez, who will beat the one man. Hully is going to turn, but Ramos comes sliding out of the back four to knock it away here is the ball through though Ronaldo is gonna have the pace but will he have the skill to turn his man he won't but he'll get knocked out for the corner oh no actually hit him on the way out apparently goal kick for Marlott still cagey opening no real chances other than that one from Tass very early on Ronaldo tries to get a through ball to Messi but it bobbles off the defender's leg and now Marlott on the attack in the black Messi overhead ball for Suarez just sugar the shoulders there from Laurent Blanc and a forceful cross across goal oh. that comes off Marcelo for a goal uh, a corner kick sorry for Marla yeah a little bit of uh, unfortunate moment there for Tass good turn you know by Suarez always have to be careful there slide from Messi just trying to get in the way of things ball over the top though that's gonna send Ronaldo We'll have to wait for some backup that will arrive here but the pass is just not accurate enough a chance for marlott to move forward again 23 minutes in i feel like marlott's had the uh the controlling uh yeah. percentage on possession here yeah and that's a problem maybe for tas used to dominating these matches that's a good chance messi looking for the opening suarez opens it but oh, it almost fell for hullet Piera just bobbles it off but now it's a little counter chance. Hull it down the left wing. Suarez trying to show for it, but Kyle Walker cuts it out for Marlott as he plays it through to Suarez. Has to go back into the middle, though. Tries to work it down the outside in the end, and it's worked out very well for Ronaldo. Messi trying to run in for it. It's De Gea that buries it. Pogba with a chance to lay it in. Oh, oh, oh. And he finds it through. And Marlott gets the opener against Tass. Almost looked like he couldn't really believe it himself there, I feel. And it fell kindly. I thought he was going to try and drag it over towards Suarez, but he takes it from the right to the left. And Pogba slides him into the lead. And well, now we're really going to see what Tass can do. Saw him lose his first game here since we started here in his foot champions run. Of course, online is not 40 0 every week, so <laughs> well, we're not going that far back, but from regionals, at least in Paris. Saw him lose that one game. And now he's 1 0 behind after 30 minutes. Still plenty of time to go, but this could be a big scalp for Marlott to take. Well, oh, oh, my word! Marlott 
with Suarez, and that's confidence right there. That is confidence. He wanted this matchup, he got it, and my word, is he started to make it his own. Hullet just missing the tackle. Hands on hips at the end of that one, 2 0. Yes, Tass, you have a job on your hands here as we approach the second half. The interesting thing was there from Marlet again, you almost saw the half celebration and then kind of pulled away as so didn't trust himself to quite celebrate like that just yet. I think we'll see it though if a third goes in. But it's still only 35 minutes on the clock. Hull it now. Can Tass pull this one back? Ronaldo into Suarez. Tries to get it past, but again, it's trusty old Sergio Ramos there in between to stop that progression. There's Ronaldo coming in as well for Marla, who's honestly having a fantastic tournament so far. There is Vieira to Pogba. Ball sliding on through. Ronaldo shoots, and oh, oh. what a position to pull that one off from. Goal. We know that he certainly can finish those, but <laughs> between the defender, between the keeper, De Gea doesn't really know what to do with his hands, and, well, he didn't in that shot either apparently it goes straight through the defender's legs keeper hasn't got a chance and he's buried it in the bottom corner chance now for task is there muted celebrations from the hashtag supporters club standing behind Tass there they know he's still got a lot of work to do as we approach half time 2-1 though an impressive goal honestly from Tass Realizing this is not going to be an easy push over Marlet playing very well here not afraid to shoot from range or look for that perfect setup Walker once again working it really well down the wing Plays it through Messi Can't get the through ball Vieira cuts it out for Tass. That's a heavy ball. It almost fell kindly for Ronaldo Maybe bobbled into his path But in the end it's another switch of possession Marlet tends to use Walker quite a lot of notice in down this right wing to build his play up Something to keep your eye on here as Ronaldo looks to get it through the middle. Now Messi, Ronaldo <laughs> trying to make the through ball, but hold it, no nonsense anymore. Yeah. Almost as if he didn't really notice him there. He's bundled him. Three minutes added on. Exactly, got in the way. Enough to block out the sun amongst other large objects. Oh, there's a chance. Here we go, hold it. Through to Ronaldo, he's done it once before again. The drag back to Suarez now. Oh, oh Vieira block. gets in there just as the shot was about to go off. And Marlet now on a bit of a counter. This is going to be basically on the stroke of half time. And well, the time just isn't there. Ref will blow. It's 2 1 for Marlet. Yeah, pretty even. Marlet definitely taking his chances. Four shots, four on target. As you see, Tass under pressure there. Three shots himself with just the one going in and of course we've had many words of wisdom from Tass let's see what he had to say one of the top contenders and I believe there's almost maybe a target on my back not in terms of just winning the Paris event but more so in the manner that it was done it was seen as pretty dominant so there's a target on my back um, however I have high expectations of myself so we're gonna have to see what happens there's a lot of great players um, we're gonna have to find out on the day well, I think we're seeing exactly why that target is painted on his back. Marlet yep. wanted this matchup. And maybe, just maybe, a lot of people did look at him. Obviously, we were talking about how a lot of people liked his style of play. And, you know, obviously, the style of dominance wanted to try and do the same. They've also studied heavily exactly what he did. And maybe that's just what we're seeing here. No nonsense stuff from Marlet as he leads 2 1 with that astounding goal from Suarez. May look for another one here. Marcelo back to Messi. Suarez can take the shot. Oh, oh. just bends wide. Close stuff there. And again, it would have been a phenomenal time for Marlet mm. to extend that lead. Just, just coming defensive. out of the half time. And this is where Marlet has to be very decisive. You know, I don't think there's any halfway. If you're going to play it defensive, then. That was uh, Tass, actually, I believe. Tass that was switched to defensive. Okay, interesting. Maybe realizing he's leaving himself a little too exposed. We'll figure it out. There's a chance here. Suarez is going to have to turn this one back around, and he's took it oh. too far. Yeah, my point was for for Marley, You know, if he if he get if he goes too harsh, uh, too hard to get yeah. that three-one, 
then of course he's leaving himself exposed. If he plays it too defensive, he's going to give too much possession to Tass, which is what he likes to do. It's what he likes, and he may just find a way in then. It's the we'll able see. decision that every manager has to make <laughs> in football history, isn't it, really? That's going to be... Uh, one. Jose only has one option. Jose, <laughs> what? Defend. <laughs> Defend. <laughs> the bus is parked. Uh, oh, dear. So, two boys already... Uh, Angry for that. For that Let's one. see. Oh, that's a great little back heel. Marcelo finds Suarez, lays it across. Surely Ronaldo, it's gone back across. No, Marcelo clears. Oh, tense, tense moments for Tass there. But now the counter, maybe. Pogba, he's got Messi making a run through the middle. No, that just goes off for a throw in in the end. And on the, is Ronaldo going to take it? Is he going to switch? No, he's going to keep Ronaldo taking it through the middle. Pull it. Suarez is run. Well, was a little too eager. Ronaldo going to play through Vieira. There is Ronaldo, but again, look at that defending. Solid stuff from Marlon. He's looking solid. Uh, yeah. Thought he'd been chopped there a little bit, but apparently not the case. He has hauled it for him. And on this bottom side with Marcelo. Now pull it ball over the top into the feet of Suarez. Where does he go from here? Got two men on top of him. It was Walker in the end. Got the final touch and Long will clear up towards Pogba. Nice little overlap there. Ronaldo tries to step past his man and there's a foul being given for Tass. Well, still chasing the game is Tass. Marlott looking very good though. He's setting up those through balls a number of times already and looking more dangerous despite the fact Tass switched that defensive style. Pogba. And drag backs continuing, trying to move the players into position. He gets it through to Vieira. Ronaldo steps back, so does Messi. Still no clean opportunities. He's got to go up high. He will try and get it to Suarez. Suarez does come back out on top with the ball now. But there was an offside given, I think, on Suarez. And it's Marlon's free kick. Time is ticking here for Tass. Just over 20 minutes to go. What is Marlott's plan? Currently he's playing the ball around nicely, not afraid to put it up in the air either. Now Hulley into Marcelo. Oh, half beaten his man there. I think he actually came off him in the end. And he's found it back. Now Suarez, he's gonna oh, try and put Pogba through there, but again, Vieira, uh, Vieira got in the way. It's a nice little slide through. And again, keeper will clear. I'm running out here for Tass. Marla has been magnificent in his defense so far. You think back to Tass's goal, it was a bit of a wonder goal, really. Wasn't one of those clear chances which he keeps trying to make, and maybe he needs to start thinking he should just go for goal. That's what exactly what Marla did. Got that Suarez worldy curled in. That's not going to reach its way through to Tass, and that's gone for. A goal kick, and we're going to see some changes from Tass here. Switch of the tactics. I'm trying to look in my tiniest little monitor of what he's going with. It's 3 5 2, I believe. Well, uh, difficult thing in for him here. I mean, something, it's, it's all or nothing, right? Something, I've heard he's tried this a few times as well. I, and I actually tried to get it out of him yesterday. And I was like, yeah, but the thing is, Gorilla was sat there. So I don't think he really wanted to give anything away. I was like, I've heard you've been trying three. As you'd two. expect. He's like, no, no, no. I don't know why you heard that. I've not been doing that at all. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, mm, I'm pretty sure. Of my, I'm pretty sure I've heard accurate uh, news reports on that one. But uh, Tass didn't want to give too much away. But now he's going to have to go for it. He has to. Obviously, this is lower bracket. The loser of this will be out. Harry stood behind Tass, tried himself to qualify both in Paris and Madrid. And Madrid, oh, went out on all players on four points. Went out yeah, on insane. in the end some round robin weird goal difference rule that I, I don't even know. I don't even know. It was such a crazy situation. Martial on for Pogba for Marlet and Kante on for Messi. Now we saw him go defensive. Remember in the uh, Dax matchup, went to five at the back. Uh, we'll see whether he's done that. I didn't actually get a glimpse of what he was doing. All we saw was Tassis. Yeah, it look like it at this point. Martial on there, Suarez, Hullet, 
Ronaldo. So great beautiful. passing here. There's a lot of space for Martial on this top side. He's going to, well, almost get well, past one. Close. For me, the ball had already gone there, but apparently no foul. Suarez will get in front of that one. Nine minutes plus stoppage time. All out attack now is going to be the uh, strategy for Tass. He's got to. He needs that goal. Yeah, you need the ball first, though. That's what he needs. And Marlott's doing a grand job of holding on to it. Tass still not able to gain possession. A great overhead through ball there. Waiting on the wing is Kyle Walker. Keeps possession. Finally gives it away. Ramos snatches his chance there, Tass. Finds it to Suarez. Though. Gets a little lucky winning it back. He's got an open opponent down the right wing and instead it bobbles and goes straight back to Marlott's Rio Ferdinand and Marlott has got it under control as well crucially Martial here he's going to try and sprint on by not quite work out for him but long all the way on the touchline Neymar here for Tass where's this goal going to come from two minutes Plus whatever's added on. Let's pull it off towards Marcelo. Bad pass from Marcelo, but Messi will get it back. Still can't get the ball forward, though. Great defending from Marla here. Three minutes is all that's being given. And that's a missed pass again from Tash. Tried that through ball. It's not going to work out. Marla just needs to keep the ball. And that's a great ball over the top to Kante. Look what he's got available to him. Obviously, all out attack was given for Tash. There's no one really back here. Kante just runs it into the corner brilliantly. Oh, it's frustration. Revenge for Tash, I feel. Some of the frustration he obviously he gifted across to his opponents in Paris. And it seems that Marla with the last kick of the ball will be the man that knocks Tass out of the tournament here in Berlin. It's a corner for Marlott. 2-1 the scoreline. The young German is looking to make some history of his own here. Finished third in Paris and here in Berlin in his home country. He could well go one better in the lower bracket. That is it. Tass is out. Marlett will go through to London and more importantly the lower bracket round three he is going to continue on this tournament tomorrow and an insane run for him here as well I mean he's beaten what many would have considered the absolute favorite for this tournament in uh, in the form of Tass there who mm. himself is going to be disappointed we heard some words from him earlier on in that video that you know he's got a target painted on his back but actually